Let me give you real quick four reasons, four things you're going to receive if you go ahead and decide to jump into a life with Christ. J-U-M-P, it's a, an acrostic. J stands for justified. That's a big word that theologians use. It just means I got a clean conscience. I got a clean conscience. Wouldn't it feel great? Wouldn't it feel great to walk in, walk out, live your life without having to hide stuff? How many of you, how many of you have ever, you know people, because you wouldn't do this, I know. <laughs> Me either. You know people that, you know, they're always hiding stuff. They just sort of live their life with a bunch of little secrets. And they're always nervous and worried. Like, who's going to find out? You know, who's, who's watching? Who's doing this? Wouldn't it be great to live your life just out in the open? Hey, you know, <clears throat> I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to prove. Nothing that I'm ashamed of. When you give your life to Christ and you walk into the light, He justifies you. He, he, some people say He makes it just as if you never sinned. It's like taking a little baby and, and, and when the baby comes out of the womb and they're innocent and all the crap hasn't happened to them yet. You know what I mean? And it's like, he makes us innocent. He says, you're not guilty anymore. I know you did that. You say, yeah, that was me. I'm guilty as sin. I did that, God. And God says, I know and I forgave you. And guess what? You're not guilty anymore. And only God can do that. He justifies us. U stands for unconditional love. God says, if you come to me, I will love you no matter what. <laughs> My son Wesley this morning, we were walking outside and he and I were talking. He said, Dad, he goes, does God like my shirt? He's <laughs> got his Easter shirt on, you know. <laughs> I said, yeah, man, he likes your shirt. And he knows everything about you, Wesley. And what the next thought that went through my head was, Andy loves you. Andy loves you. He hadn't even done that much wrong yet in his life, like his, like his daddy. He's only four. That's the thing about God. He knows everything about you. And he loves you. Just the way you are. And he says, come to me if you're tired and you're sick and tired of life as you know it. It's not working for you. He says, come to me and I'll, I'll give you some rest. Take, take the baggage off, off of your shoulders. Give it to me and I'll give you what I have, which is really light and a lot of fun. Unconditional love. M stands for meaning in life. You'll receive a clean conscience. You'll receive love like you've never experienced before. And you'll receive meaning in life. And I read that suicide note from Kurt Cobain earlier. Maybe you haven't gotten there yet. Some of you have. Some of you know people that have. Some of you have friends or family that have gotten to the place where they just said, the only thing left for me to do is to end it all. And Jack said something very important, and that's that there is hope. And if you're here today and you're contemplating suicide, and you're here today and you're thinking, I have nothing left to offer, and I want you to know that God brought you here today so that I could tell you you're wrong. You matter. You are loved. God saw you take your first breath. God saw your first birthday. God saw when you got married. God saw when that girl, that, that boy broke your heart. God saw that. He's seen every great moment and every bad moment in your life. And He loves you. And He wants to give you meaning. P and jump stands for paradise. For heaven. I'm not talking about 70 virgins. That's not Jesus. Jesus says, you come in to me and you trust me that I will give you a mansion, a place in heaven forever and ever and ever. It's hard for me to wrap my mind around that. I only lived 36 years. It's hard for me to imagine forever. But God says, I'll give it to you. So if you jump today, there's some things that God wants to give you. He wants to offer to you. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to sing a song that, it's one of my favorite songs. Some of you will recognize it. It's really just Psalm 40.